The meeting between Wits University SRC and the institution's vice chancellor has ended. Students took to the streets this week in protest over fees, accommodation and outstanding debt. Let's speak now to the Wits SRC member, Solami Butelezi. Uh, good evening and thank you for joining us here on Newsnight. The meeting has now ended. Could you give us any details as to what was discussed uh, and concluded at this meeting? Uh, good evening. I greet the viewers on your channel and I greet yourself. Um, thank you for having me. So um, <clears throat> I don't think um, I could probably go into the exact outcomes as we are still in a very uh, promising negotiation um, environment with Wits University. But I will say that um, it took a lot to get to this point. And so to get to a table um, with the senior executive team is a victory on its own. Um, you'd understand that we have had countless failed engagement or attempts to have engagements with the institution. Um, and um, today's sitting was a definitely a step in the right direction. We do note, though, that the vice chancellor, who we had personally requested that he, um, his presence be there, was not there today, but he did send a delegation um, from, from the senior executive team. And so we appreciate that. Um, we did manage to do three things in, in today's sitting without me exactly saying um, where the negotiation sits in detail. The first is that we got Wits University to begin to speak in fullest language, right? Um, you understand that one of our demands is that Wits University must intervene in the issue of NSFAS capping accommodation um, uh, a fees or, or rather the, what they are willing to pay for our accommodation. Um, and you'd understand that whenever you bring an NSFAS issue up on campus, uh, this would usually tell you that it's a national issue and not a local issue. But in today's sitting, we got a commitment in a very, very strong position from VITS, um, which had very, um, a very fullest posture um, they told us about how it would be reversing the gains of uh, free education, which was uh, declared by the ruling party, by the previous president. Um, and so you'd understand that for Wits University to begin that level of discourse, um, the repetition and the, the work we've done as student activists has not gone to waste. They've agreed to hold hands with us as the SRC um, to raise the NSFAS crisis on a national level. And so we're not really um, having competing interests on, on that level. Um, secondly, we got Wits's understanding and at least a very promising commitment um, on the side of Wits University to demilitarize campus. Um, you would have seen how um, scary campus looks. It, it looks like a, 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 a military facility. Um, yesterday, there were four nyalas on campus and about eight police vans. Um, stones were being thrown from uh, private security. Surveillance was on another level, drones flying everywhere. It was not a very uh, peaceful place to be. And so we got a very strong commitment from Wits University to stop that apartheid behavior. Um, they understood what it means to us as um, black children to be intimidated on that level. Um, and, and, and how that is a betrayal of how far we've come as a country. Um, and so we welcome um, the, the nature of that engagement. Um, we also then um, got to speak about the real issues that led to the protest. Um, there are lots, we did make some concessions, which I feel it would be in good faith for as, us as student leaders and student representatives to first relay them to our masses who, relate, who elected us, and that would be at tomorrow's mass meeting um, at 8 p.m. on campus. But I will say that we have made so much progress in terms of all of our demands. Um, we even brought uh, updated, I, I won't say new, updated demands um, to the table today and we entertained them for what they are. And we only have blockages on two issues. Um, sorry, I'm not sure what happened there. It must be a network issue. But we only had blockages on, 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 on two issues and really those were the bulk and the premise of the process. And so we understand why um, a lot more negotiation and ironing out is going to happen on the issue of, um, firstly, 
registration, we said we called for the registration of all students um, and, and we also called for extra or, or rather um, the end of student homelessness. So these, these are massive um, demands that we've made and um, they, they, they are valid and they are justified. And so Wits University has committed to doing the work to um, achieve these things. They could not outright say, definitely for sure we're going to achieve that by, by, by Monday. But we are happy with where we are in our negotiations. We feel that we've corrected our footing and that we are going to negotiate in good faith or perhaps better faith moving forward. Hmm. So, Lami, has there been any update with regards to the suspension letters that have been handed out to some students who were involved in the protest? Was that a point of discussion? And what was said? Um, yes, it was definitely a point of discussion. I mean, I myself was served with a suspension letter and the entire SRC was served with um, a letter of demand or rather cease and desist from um, Vote University's lawyers. And we did engage that, and it was one of the points that, um, you know, we were able to find each other on to say, so long as these processes are continuing, we cannot say we are sitting here negotiating in good faith. I won't go into the merits um, of those issues. I won't go into detail because they are legal issues. Um, but we did get a commitment from Vils University to um, negotiate in better faith and to not, and even on our side, we also... Um, made a commitment to say, as long as we are at this negotiation table, we will not proceed with the, 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 the chasing and the, um, you know, the way we are pursuing each other. And so it seems, it seems, there's no declaration, there's nothing in writing. It seems as though we are de-escalating on both sides. Um, that's the commitment that we've, that we've reached in today's sitting. And what is the current status uh, of the campus? Is learning and teaching continuing? Uh, you did mention earlier that there were police on the scene, that there were police nyalas on the scene as well. Is the institution still running um, as usual when it comes to classes and uh, students having the opportunity to learn? No, um, we, we're definitely not all systems go. We're not um, business as usual. Um, we've made commitments and we are... We made them from points of um, having every intention to see them through. However, until we have had that final discussion to say that um, the demands have been met and we are then going to be in a position to declare the protest either over or that we continue. So definitely we are not, we have not um, left the armed struggle. <laughs> and I say that loosely and lightly because we are not armed. Um, but we are definitely applying pressure intensely. So, then, yeah, definitely we are. And then yes, just lastly, I, what, is, uh, what is the next step? You did mention that the vice chancellor wasn't present in today's meeting. Are you hoping that they will be in future discussions? And, and sort of when is the next meeting? When are you going to continue these discussions uh, so that there is a, a final conclusion? Because you did say that you are happy with how discussions are flowing, but there's not uh, definite conclusions set as yet. Yes, so um, it's dependent on uh, the executive, the senior executive team that will meet on urgent basis tomorrow morning. Um, so basically, the fate of our institution lies in whatever outcomes the vice chancellor is able to um, provide for us. We are readily waiting as students on the ground, um, regardless of these negotiations. And before we knew they were going to happen, we had a meeting with students for tomorrow at 8 p.m. Um, because whether we have had a successful negotiation or not, we will be giving them uh, a way forward and we will be delivering feedback to our students. And so um, that will be happening tomorrow, like I said, at 8 p.m. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Solami, for the update and for uh, just letting us know how that meeting went. And what's uh, still some of your biggest concerns? We appreciate you talking to us this evening. That was Solami Butelezi, the WITS uh, SRC member at uh, the University of Witwatersrand. Just uh, confirming that that meeting between the university and the SRC has now concluded, but it's seeming that a lot more negotiation is required there. Uh, but we will keep you up to date with regards to any further developments at the University of Witwatersrand.